ancient ruins of the Mayan civilization lay peacefully in the dense forests of the Yucatan Peninsula. Possessing many advanced architectural techniques, including the corbel arch, they developed a unique vigesimal system, along with a complex language with over 40,000 characters. something about the Mayan ruins that attracts our curiosity. The Maya, who regarded life and death as separate sides of the same coin, worshipped the jaguar, snakes, and other forest creatures. An intriguing worldview combined with an ability to create advanced technology is surely the reason we are drawn to them. So what is it that connected the spiritual and technological aspects of the Mayan civilization? The answer is astronomical observation. In other words, it is science. Precise analytical prowess enabled them to determine the orbital period of planets, helping them to develop the mathematics that formed the foundation of their technology. It helped them establish the harvest cycle of the corn that supported their way of life and translated into a calendar based on 52 and 400 year cycles. Precise analytic skills produced the concept of circulation. This concept is a factor that connected the Mayan spiritual and technological worlds and enabled them to develop into an independent civilization. This being the case, what message does it convey to our modern society? The majority of fundamental scientific principles that are at the foundation of such things as cars, telecommunication networks, and electronic devices on which we now rely were systematized in the early 20th century. Science became the force behind industrial development, pushing further expansion and a continual drive to go faster, build bigger, and travel farther. This same drive eventually saw humankind escape the Earth and leave its mark on the Moon. Entering the second half of the 20th century, we did, however, become environmentally aware leading to a demand for more efficient scientific technology. The application of science in industry also shifted greatly towards resource and energy saving solutions in the quest to realize a recycling oriented society. This process consists of two industrial approaches. The first involves increasing the level and functionality of existing production technology while creating products with a smaller environmental footprint. The alternative approach is the development of new production techniques based on the latest technology. The fundamental constituent in both of these approaches is analytical technology. Automobiles are the basis of distribution and transportation in our modern society. 
The engines that power them are a typical example of technology that has evolved into a more environmentally friendly form. What gases come out of a motor vehicle's muffler when it is driven? Is it possible to create power more efficiently with less fuel? We can begin to visualize such an engine by analytically solving the multitude of related parameters one by one in real time. The latest analytical technology is the driving force behind the evolution of motor vehicles, the design and production of which successfully bring together advanced development and manufacturing technologies. Electric vehicles are a highly anticipated new technology, one that doesn't merely involve the replacement of engines with motors. What is the effect of differences in left and right tire loadings? What kind of vibration occurs at high RPM? These fundamental questions need to be analyzed and solved one by one if new technology such as this is to be established. Two industrial approaches, both striving for the realization of a recycling-oriented society and both attempting to conquer new technological frontiers with the common scientific tool of analysis, can sometimes result in unforeseen crossovers. Electric vehicles, information terminals and other such devices rely on a common key element, batteries. Batteries require the perfect alignment of particles on the microscopic scale to ensure more efficient storage and discharge of electricity. A particle size distribution analyzer is utilized to measure such properties. This is a good example of how a single analytical technology can provide solutions across a wide range of fields. This trend is especially evident in the development of new materials. For example, carbon nanotubes, which are also expected to become electrode materials for batteries, require an understanding of their molecular alignment for practical application. The Raman spectrometer used in the pharmaceutical field to analyze the structure of organic molecules is the ideal choice for such an advanced analytical application. Analytical technology developed in one field is at times applied to another. For example, it's possible to apply the real-time analysis equipment used to measure carbon at ironworks to the management of carbon concentration in electrode materials. These production techniques, known as component technologies, are directly linked to the leading-edge science essential to understanding the essence of matter and will continue to push the boundaries of production efficiency and new technology. It is the high-tech analytical instruments relied on by engineers that make all this possible. Analyses made by advanced analytical instruments can produce crossover solutions that span multiple fields. These analytical instruments will continue to evolve in efforts to help promote further resource recycling and new production techniques. The realization of a recycling-oriented society also requires reduced energy consumption in the workplace while maintaining advanced functionality. 
The key factor in this is also the cornerstone of all information terminals, semiconductor technology and its evolution, in addition to the development of storage devices that don't rely on rare metals. It also enables the swift establishment of recycling processes, such as the retrieval of precious metals from waste. Increases in the integration efficiency of semiconductors, thanks to developments in microfabrication, enable greater energy conservation. For this reason, technological innovation in the wafer production sector is vital. Semiconductor circuits consist of multiple layers within a single wafer that are inspected by a thin film analyzer as part of several measures to optimize the wafer production process. The mass flow controller adjusts gas discharge during the formation of this fine film and is regarded as being key to the engineering evolution of semiconductors. Such technological innovation in semiconductor development and production methods will enable the formation of new energy networks like smart grids, while also promoting a society-wide shift towards low energy consumption. Analytical instruments open the door to a new frontier of semiconductor production that aims to realize a whole new range of electronic devices, including the ultimate semiconductor of all, a transistor that runs on a single electron. industrial infrastructure combined with the creation of a new energy network will make environmental load monitoring more important than ever. Present industrial and household wastewater treatment methods are not by any means perfect. This is one area in particular that needs to keep pace with industrial development in emerging nations. It is becoming increasingly vital that conventional monitoring standards such as BOD and COD are complemented by the stricter monitoring of substances like phosphorus and nitrogen. There is a definite need to employ mobile monitoring methods to assess environmental dispersion to go out into the field and directly measure the water quality of lakes and rivers and use this data to regulate emissions. Factory and car emissions disperse over a wide area that can include neighboring nations. For this reason, it is critical that we create a global monitoring network capable of continuously measuring atmospheric constituents far from the pollutant's origin in order to keep a close eye on our Earth's environment. Along with the heightened demand for analytical instruments to directly monitor nitrogen oxide and sulfur oxide emissions from factories in emerging nations, it is also the duty of instrument manufacturers to promote local manufacturing and support systems that swiftly meet these global needs. Increased environmental awareness has also led to an increased public interest in health. It goes without saying that this has produced a greater demand for blood testing, the first step in monitoring health.
analytical methods such as those used for testing blood are now being applied to the diagnosis of illnesses, the administration of drugs, and other areas within the medical field. It is the responsibility of manufacturers to transform highly specialized, leading-edge technology into analytical instruments that swiftly meet current social and market needs. Global monitoring of the environment and timely response to market needs has greatly altered social awareness regarding the realization of a truly global society. Planet Earth is home to a diverse range of ethnic groups and cultures. We are called upon to respect one another's cultural heritage as we come together in efforts to sustain Mother Earth. It is vital that we share analytical data regarding the environment to facilitate accurate understanding. The realization of a recycling-oriented society is a natural evolution of our environmental awareness which has steadily risen since the second half of the 20th century. It can also be said that this awareness has greatly altered the direction taken by science and technology, which had mainly focused on setting new records for size and distance. This philosophy is one of harmonious coexistence with nature Stars cross the sky, tides rhythmically rise and fall, the sun warms the sea to form clouds that bring rain, and this rain forms rivers that eventually flow back into the sea. This great circulation system, the water cycle, returns to the ocean what it takes, clean water. And it is this great circulation system that gave rise to life on Earth. Life has evolved into an amazingly diverse range of shapes and sizes adapted to coexist in the environments in which they live. Humans are no exception. Awareness of this diverse range of living organisms and nature's great circulation system will bring together our equally diverse range of cultures into the first truly global society. Humankind is yet to fully understand the intricate workings of nature some areas of basic biological phenomena, such as photosynthesis, for example, remain a mystery. It is analytical technology that will conquer these uncharted realms and lead us into a future filled with hope. Humans can only marvel at the extraordinary sensors used by other living organisms to analyze their environment. While we may not have such sensors, we do have analytical technology. We must learn to observe and analyze nature to create a civilization that harmoniously exists within the great circle of life. This is the very concept upon which 21st century recycling-oriented societies will be built, and a concept set to become a new natural philosophy for humankind. The Mayan 
civilization developed into a sophisticated society based on astronomical observation. It can be said that the Mayan ruins convey the importance of maintaining nature's cycle in our modern science-based civilization. The maintenance of this cycle will in turn lead to the stable evolution of our society and the creation of a brighter future. our 21st century society demands is also the key to uniting human beings from all four corners of the planet. Analytical technology.